it's cold out there campers actually it was today is March the 11th here in North Georgia the day before Easter and decided because of the coronavirus to do a little backpacking in the backyard and definitely not the same as being out there on the trail but you know if you love camping and hiking like most of us do any night out under the stars is better than not so while I was doing that I thought I'd do a quick review of my REI Passage 1 tent that I've had now for several years and it's really been a great tent and thought why not do a review on it because there's very few of them out there now that this is an older tent so hope you like it. So here's the specs for the REI Passage 1 and like I said this is the older last model the current model it's uh, changing color i think the floor is kind of a dark green or a gray color it does weigh a little bit more so this last version was a little more pack friendly it's still definitely not a lightweight pack you can see the trail weight as measured from rei is three pounds 6.2 ounces and i trust them to be pretty close the floor it's 88 inches long so i'm 5'7 and have plenty of room at the head and the toe for storing shoes and extra gear the floor footprint is asymmetrical in that it's 36.5 inches at the top and 30.5 inches at the bottom sometimes i'll switch around and i really don't notice that difference i use a 25 inch nemo sensor pad and have plenty of room on the sides for shoes and other items that i'm going to store in the tent with me at night i like to put a lot of stuff in the tent with me like I said, it's not really a high-tech fabric. It's the old-fashioned polyester. It is seam-sealed. I've never had any leaks, and I've been in a lot of cold weather. Been a lot of uh, very rainy weather down here in North Georgia mountains, and I have never had a leak in the four years that I've had the tent. It is just a one-door tent, so that could be a little bit better. And the current model is priced at $139. And as I mentioned earlier, I got this on sale and with a 20% discount a couple years ago for 60 bucks. So I have no complaints at all for what this tent has done over the last three or four years. You can get a ground cloth for it, which might help with setup if it was raining, but it's so easy and quick to set up that I find that if I get on with the job and get it done, I don't get a lot of rain and I would obviously wait, you know, till a downpour was over and put it up once the rain settled down a little bit. But there is a ground cloth for it which would add a little bit as far as protection but i use a simple piece of plastic and i've never had any problems i could go down to some of the the window film to save some weight but i like the the weight of this it's cheap i've got a bunch of it and when it tears or rips i can just get a new piece after putting everything up the tent and the rain fly itself is right at three pounds and the poles and the stakes in their bag are right at a pound so together that's right at four pounds so again definitely not ultralight but for a very cheap simple extremely effective versatile tent four pounds for backpacking's not too bad So you can see without the rain fly on, it's really nice mesh that you can see through and be able to stargaze if you know there's no rain coming. And like we said, the 
a little bit of difference in the, there's the, if you want to say the head end to the foot end, there is a little bit of a reduction in dimensions. Aluminum poles, I believe these are called 7000 and they clip on like so many of the modern tents that are out there. One clip on top and I can have this tent up in about five minutes. If it's raining, it does get a little wet before I can get the rain fly on there. But again, because of ease of setup, I can get it up pretty quick and minimize the amount of rain that's getting inside the tent itself. So the basic setup of the tent is pretty basic. It's a definitely a small one man tent and plenty of guy outs. You can see if you need extra help because of wind or rain, the tie downs for the rain fly are the simple buckles. It is color coded with one side being black, the other side being in green. Another couple guy outs. Pretty nice little vent that helps with condensation buildup. I've never really had any problem with this. And like I said earlier in the specs, it's a polyester material that's not super lightweight, but it has done a really good job. Inside dimensions are great for a 25 inch Nemo tensor pad, along with my Nemo bag that I got, which is an older version of Ramsey that I don't think is available anymore. And You've got some pockets up top, different points that you can hang items from, and then there's a storage pocket here in the front. So it's a pretty basic setup. It's a nice open feel. I can sit up in here, I'm five foot seven, and be pretty comfortable as far as changing clothes. The rain fly does a good job. It gives me a pretty good vestibule area here for cooking I like to cook if it's raining or really cold out at least get my coffee going and I've got room on the other side for shoes or a pack and there again you can see it's that older passage one but overall great tent and um, I highly recommend it if you can find these left over or somebody's reselling it I picked this one up again like I said earlier with a discount a couple years ago on sale for 60 bucks from the store really been happy with it the only thing i'm looking for now is something that's a little lighter